We visit the Factory Theater to have a chat with Marilón Núñez, founder of the Latin company Alameda Theater. The company will be presenting its new play Chile con Carne on April the 2nd to April the 14th. Empecé en la compañía hace seis años atrás. Um, yo estudié teatro aquí en Canadá, en Toronto. Y cuando me gradué, eh, encontré que no había trabajo uh, sin estereotipo para actrices latinas. También encontré que en el teatro, especialmente en el teatro, no habían um, obras de teatro que hablaban de nuestra experiencia como uh, latinos canadienses acá. Yo quiero que Alameda sea una compañía que empiece a darle oportunidades a las personas que quieran ser artistas aquí en Canadá, latinos. Well, I feel that as Latin artists here, we don't have freedom yet. We don't have complete freedom because we are not allowed to play leading roles at Stratford, for example, or in the big uh, theaters here in Canada. It's just not something that happens. I think people see us as one thing and they put us into a box. And I think in order for us to overcome those boxes, we need to, we need to elevate our experience. We need to create opportunities for ourselves so that people can start to see that we are capable of doing those roles. I think Carmen Aguirre was, was trying to play on the word of Chile con carne, Chile con carne, our country is, has meat, but it's also the, the derogatory, um, stereotypical North American Latin food. Everybody's here tonight. All the Chileans and all the gringos too. The Chileans used to make fun of the gringos because they dress funny. But my mom told the Chileans to shut the fuck up because the gringos had a big heart and were willing to do solidarity with a country they'd never been to. It's about a little girl whose um, family has recently arrived from Chile. It's 1975, so they've been, uh, they've been in Canada for about a year. And um, this little girl has tried so hard to fit into Canadian culture that she has taken on, you know, she wears a blonde wig all the time. She doesn't want to speak Spanish. Uh, her best friend is the, you know, the blonde, blue-eyed little girl at school. Uh, and so she's trying very, 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 very hard to disregard her Chileanness. But it's hard because her parents are very political. You know, they're putting on a hunger strike. They're putting on peñas to send money back to Chile. They are, uh, you know, her father has nightmares all the time because of what happened to him when he was in jail. Uh, so it's like she's trying to deny her culture and her, her, her roots, but it's at the same time, it's so present in her life that she can't. I have no idea what these marks are supposed to look like. They're huge. They take up the whole page. It will take many nights work to get rid of these marks, but we're willing to do it. Phase one of our operation is done. Nosotros tenemos un, un programa que se llama De Colores, que es el, uh, un festival anual que tenemos. Es un festival para dramaturgos latinos aquí en Canadá y les damos un año de desarrollo a una obra que, ellos, que, que los artistas tengan. Y así cada año estamos empezando a, lo voy a decir en inglés, we're, we're beginning to build a canon of work for the Latin American Canadian. Nueva Voz is Alameda Theatre Company's youth outreach program. It's an after-school program specifically geared to Latino youth ages 14 to 19. I think the best way to instill that love of the art and to instill that pride in yourself as an artist starts when you're young. So Nueva Voz is our, our way of cultivating that love of theater in the, young, in, the, in the younger generations. And also our hope is also to be able to inspire them to go get training in theater. They give us the ideas, they, they put on the show. We give them the tools to do so, 
and then they create the show based on whatever they want to talk about. <clears throat> so we're giving them a voice. Uh, My dream would be that we would be able to <clears throat> program two to three productions per year. Um, you know, to give our artists even more opportunity to to, you know, stretch their acting acting muscles or directing muscles or be playwrights. You know, I'd like for us to tour our, our work to Latin America so that we could show people there, you know, this is what the Latinos in Canada, this is our experience. Uh, and then also to collaborate, to, to bring um, translations of work up here so that our communities, our younger generations, could really know the history of where they, their parents come from or where they come from.